Hello Blue Jay family and welcome to our monthly eblast communication. My name is Julia and I'm Ken coming to you from JM headquarters. The start of the school year has been fantastic. It is nice to see all the smiling faces and catch up with friends. The Ohio Department of Education released state report cards and Jackson Milton received an overall B. Our B letter grade is a high B which is great news. One area we are proud of is the progress section of the report card which looks at student growth. JM received an A on this section of the state report card. The Board of Education has a renewal levy on the November ballot. A renewal levy does not raise your taxes. It's the same amount you've been paying. The renewal, renewal levy helps with operational expenses. No school. Just a reminder, there is no school on Friday, October 11th and Monday, October 14th. JM's homecoming game is October 18th against McDonald's. The homecoming dance is October 19th at St. Christine's Parish. Looking for coasters or cutting board? Visit Fishbowl Graphics. Price tag on cutting boards starts at $10. You can get four coasters for $5. These make great gifts and come with Jackson Milton engraving. JM is taking part in ODOT's Paint a Plow. Students in Mrs. Russo's class sketched out their designs and started painting the design on a plow. This year's theme focuses on the environment and ocean pollution. Just a reminder about Friday popcorn sale at the middle and high school. Students in Miss Rashilla's class make bag and sell popcorn for 50 cents every Friday. Popcorn sales help fund classroom cooking lessons and field trips. Mrs. Rochella is selling carnations for Sweetest Day. Carnations are a dollar a piece. Orders are due on October 9th. Flowers will be delivered on October 18th. Jackson Milton Marching Band and Cheerleaders performed at the Canfield Fair for the band and cheerleading demonstrations. Student art and a display of fishbowl graphics were also on display. Thank you to everyone who came to JM Military Appreciation Night during the football game on September 20th. The names of veterans were announced as they walked onto the field. Skydivers also landed on the 50-yard line holding United States flags to honor our servicemen and women. Thanks for tuning in to the Jacksonville E-Blast from Blue Jay Headquarters. I'm Kent. And I'm Julia. Go, Go Jays! Jays.